Okay. I have two time trackings because one of them has been defined earlier. Okay. Uh, I will skip grouping tasks. Oh, maybe not. I will not skip it. I will tell you shortly what it does because this is quite an interesting feature and many users uh, skip this feature because they think, oh, it's, it's, it's just grouping. Well, it is just grouping, but at the same time, this is something that adds you uh, or gives you a completely new thing inside the Jira environment because this kind of grouping is not possible in Jira itself. So you, you might get this by using an additional add-on onto Jira, like kind of a reporting add-on. There are several of them uh, and some of them are very robust and give bring you uh, a, a very high functionality. But if you don't have an additional reporting add-on, this is something that might be worth looking into because you might find it very useful. So um, let me look at the data we have over here. Okay, so I couldn't find the program that had a perfect set of data, so I had to prepare it a little bit. But let's have a look at what we can achieve grouping this program. So first of all, let's try to group by the SNE. You get your tasks grouped by the assignee field. So we can see right now that there are several tasks, exactly three assigned to Tomasz. There are three tasks assigned to Dustin and there are 13 tasks assigned to admin. That's pretty cool. How quickly did they get this information, right? But let's keep going because you can also add another layer to your grouping. So we have the status available let's select the status if you do that you will see that you get another level of your um, of your grouping and now you can see that from the tasks assigned to Tomasz there is one task in progress um, and the way to see it would be to move this column a little bit wider right we have one task in progress and we have two tasks as a result Dustin has one task in progress and two tasks in resolved as well. Admin has 13 tasks, all in open state, right? So look how quick you can get to this kind of the information. It's really, really useful. And then, of course, well, maybe let's come back to our um, program, the one we've been exploring earlier. earlier. Um, it's very easy to collapse everything and expand everything just by doing this and by doing that. And the next item on the list is the baseline. Baseline is a concept that allows you to create a snapshot or, or, or a picture of what your plan looks like at the moment you create it. So it's a very useful concept because it gives you the possibility to compare how your plan has changed somewhere in the future um, compared to the snapshot that you took in the past at the moment you wanted to have the uh, have the picture of your plan right so there are there are good things about baselines and bad things about baselines in big picture so there is nothing wrong with the functionality. It works, it works perfectly. What Big Picture actually does is that it creates a copy of start date and end date when you, when you make a baseline. Um, and they are called baseline start date and baseline end date. And these are actually Jira fields that you can access if you want to on your, on your issues. Um, the problem is that there can be only one baseline because sometimes there are scenarios that throughout the life of the project maybe you would want to take several snapshots several baselines and unfortunately it's not possible to do it yet in big picture okay so let's create a baseline and see how it looks like so we click create the program thinks for a moment and you get an information. This is very useful as well. It hasn't been here quite a long time ago. If you want to see baselines, you need to actually enable baselines in the 
um, in the view menu and then show okay so you have to go here you have to click baselines and then baselines will be visible so you should have seen the change on a gun chart what happened is like um kind of ghost issues have appeared on a baseline and these ghost issues these transparent issues are what your baseline is now if you move a task around like this you will see that the ghost of the task stayed over here and you can see that while the baseline has been created the task has been scheduled for 21st of august and now it's the 2nd of september so this is how the baseline works it's a very simple concept but at the same time quite useful in some cases to delete the baseline you just click delete but if you want to create a new baseline you don't have to delete the old one you just click create and the new baseline will be created for you so let's have a look at our task where was it um, yeah this one right so it had a, it had a ghost over here now the ghost is gone because a new baseline has been created and now the ghost has moved to the 2nd of September. Okay. And then we have task modes. And task modes is something that we are going to spend a little bit more time on. So again, some time ago there were a little bit different task modes. Well, actually quite similar because manual and lock were, were still over here. This one um, has been called just auto right so automatically um, the um, aggregation has been done or the adjustments now it's called auto bottom up and auto top down because at some point big big uh, software plant has figured out that it is useful to have a distinction between those two and let's see what is the um, difference 